Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so this is going to be my first launch on with the new game. Well, I, I guess I shouldn't say first launch, but the first thing I get into space. And one thing I just noticed, um, if you want to, when you click on the name, you can actually add notes or whatever you want to this specific rocket. Uh, you can leave a message, whatever you want, and you can also choose your crew, whoever you want to just throw on there. Um, the one thing I, I think I should test out real quick, um, whoa, I did not mean to do that. Let's see, where is this? I just want to see if it will allow me to just throw people. Oh my god, it does. Um, that's pretty awesome. So, anyways, I'm just going to get rid of this real quick. We're going to start building the Kerbin Fuel Depot. Uh, yeah, so I have a lot of plans for this. This is going to be the first thing I launch, and it's got to be the most amazing thing. Uh, I have completely redesigned, and uh, I kind of was messing around with uh, this construction a little bit, and uh, I think that this is going to work out the best, uh, you know, for just about everything. Uh, it, it will hold a lot of fuel, and it will work out a lot better than our old one, and our old one worked but there was a few little kinks and little bugs and stuff in the actual design of it that just didn't help out a lot with um, it really working out the way I wanted it to. Um, there's one bug that's still in this game. I, I You know, why is it that it has six sides but it can only connect up on certain parts, I guess, or certain ways? Eh, whatever. So, anyways... Now, this is going to be the basic core of the uh, refueler, so, um, well, I should say this is the fuel depot, it's going to be the core, so, anyways, um, wow, I need to bring this up here, um, yeah, there we go, and we got to bring this over, now, this is the one thing that, if you're trying to build something and you're trying to go out this way, and you're trying to do stuff with it, like one thing you'll notice is the only way that the symmetry tool is going to work is if it's directly in the middle. So the best way to, to fix that is to bring it up here. And I want it to go out a little bit like that. Um, there we go. I think this will work out pretty good. And the whole point of having them a little bit crooked like that is uh, once it's in you know space or whatever, um, you know, basically, it's not going to... There we go. I'm like, why isn't this thing lining up correctly? Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of these. I don't know why I wasted the time uh, even putting those on there. So, just all... Actually, I'll save a lot of time and just do it like this. So, anyways, let's get where we're going to hold our fuel on there. So, I've decided that putting our fuel on here is going to be... A lot easier than my last one. Uh, we used the smaller docking ports, the regular size docking ports, and it worked out moderately well. But the only real problem was is that it just didn't, you know, like with the large fuel tanks and the small docking ports, just didn't really look that good to me. You know, having something like this on top just no it no so we're gonna go with the large size ones large everything how much is a big battery weigh too it's gotta okay it's not even a ton wow that's amazing so all right and is there anything else i want to add on here okay yeah i should go over here uh now i'm gonna probably leave a lot of these docking ports free in the beginning and they're the re most of the reason um so bigger stuff can dock up to it too. I'm probably not going to use these for like, you know, actually have a ship that has them on there because I just think that'd be silly. They're just way too big for a regular ship. So we got to prepare this thing. Uh, it's going to get a lot of use. That's all I can say um, with the Kerbin Fuel Depot because this will be used a lot. I, I actually would have a lot more uses for it C compared to my other ones, which I didn't really use as much. So, the one thing I am not going to put on here, and I, I'm going to put on at, for a later launch, 
will be the uh, what you call it's the the lights. Um, the lights themselves, I just really don't see any purpose of putting them on on here just yet. I'm gonna put them on the fuel tanks, and I just see that as a better option. Now, all right, let's get this right here. Attach this one up. Actually, yeah, we'll cancel that again. I, I totally forgot. Yeah, we're going to have them on the bottom, too. We're going to need a lot of fuel tanks on the bottom. So This thing will be able to hold, I think, in total... Uh, what is it? Four... All right, wait. Two, four, six, eight... Yeah, ten. Ten total. I, I mind fart there or something. I don't know. So let's get this wrapped around. And this will be our basic fuel depot. Um, you know, if parts change as time goes on, I will make changes to it. But overall, I think this is going to work out really well. I will be attaching, uh, in one of my later episodes, some fuel tanks to it so we can get some fuel storage in orbit around Kerbin. But we're going to start with the Kerbin system. All right, well, I should say Kerbin itself first and get Kerbin completely squared away and then we're gonna start moving on to the moon and Minmus and then all the other bodies just you know to kinda bring everything together so anyways let's throw on some struts real quick I, I know that this isn't going to be integral to the video and I know you guys probably aren't really gonna care so much for these struts and all this stuff but I'm not gonna waste too much time with this but th this is the basic design and uh, you know for the most part I I'm probably going to launch it here shortly afterwards uh, I'm gonna show a few different tips though that I do suggest that you also use only because it helps me and I would like I, anybody who gets any help out of my videos for anything as far as construction uh, it's much appreciated, and if you have been helped by my videos, uh, please let me know. I, I really like to know if you've been helped by something I've done or, you know, told you about or whatever. Uh, I probably am going to update my tutorials, too. I was thinking about doing another tutorial video, uh, basically on the nav ball and helping people understand it a little bit better. Uh, there's a few different things that I've learned that really do help out more so than the stuff that I've actually covered in my tutorials because my tu tutorials are a little bit dated. I was considering deleting the videos and starting all over again, but uh, I, I don't want to do that. Not, not yet. Maybe a little bit later or something, but the one thing with these struts, I will say, um, with strut placement, um, especially on something like this, you have to think about the small and the big, and uh, that's what she said. And you basically, whatever you know, stuff you're going to be docking up to, you have to think about how much stress this structure is actually going to be taking when you dock up, you know, one part to the other part, and how it's going to actually translate over and everything else. So I try to get my struts as uh, as symmetrical as possible but with a design like this there's no real symmetry involved once you get all the parts placed it's kind of you just place your struts as the, the best you can and I'm usually pretty good w about it but I don't know sometimes I, I make some some mistakes but this is the overall design for it I'm I, this all these struts should hold it together pretty well I was thinking about adding some right here too, and I think I might just do that right now, but um, this is going to be the basically the placeholder for the Kerbin, the Kerbin system. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff is going to be, you know, well, I think I might end up involving this in a lot of episodes, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes from there, to be honest. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. And uh, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of things that need to be done again. Uh, I'm thinking about a communications network. One of them that actually looks like a communications network instead of a bunch of satellites orbiting Kerbin. 
So yeah, anyways guys, um, that is our Kerbin Fuel Depot. I know this isn't the longest episode, but um, yeah, that's as good as it's going to get, at least for now. So anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time.